Hello friends, we're here at Houston at the International Quilt Festival with Patty Kennedy Zafred, who is one of the major winners of the World of Beauty show. Patricia, congratulations. Thank this you. This is a really fabulous award, um, and I've enjoyed your work for many years well, since I've seen it. Um, could you talk to me about why you choose the subjects and issues that you choose to portray? I mean, they've always really, really touched me when I've seen them. Well, for the most part, um, I'm a storyteller, so I'm attracted to an image. Um, typically, in this particular quilt, for example, I have done a series on Native Americans. I've done the Japanese internment series. I had done a child labor series, but I had never done anything about Pittsburgh per se, which is my home. Yeah, that's right. So, mm -hmm. so I last year I did a, a couple pieces on the steel workers and. Mm -hmm. Finding those images, if you find one or two that you just love, then you can sort of you spark on. your imagination and you stay within the time frame and are able to create something. And then I found the images of the coal miners from Pittsburgh and I wanted to do another one for Pittsburgh. Actually, they're all images taken at the same time by the same photographer and these were all Pittsburgh miners with the exception of one imposter the one little imposter, I just couldn't resist this picture. These guys are actually from Alabama, <laughs> but you know, we won't tell anybody. What era are these photos These are from? all from the early 1940s. 1940s, and tell me about your title, it's Silent Canary. Silent Canary, it refers to, actually during the 40s, they weren't going down in the mines with a canary, but in the early 1900s, they would take a canary or a small bird and if the canary stopped singing, that meant that there was a methane leak. Mm -hmm. So the canary would die or stop singing well before the man would know that there was a leak in the mine. Right. So actually, I initially started dyeing these yellows thinking I would get some sort of yellow in the color of a canary. I actually didn't have the title until I had the idea in my mind. I was not going to use that much yellow, but then when I saw the yellow working with the blue, I really ended up with a bit more. Yeah. Um, the only fun trick with this is if you try to dye blue on yellow, you get green. <laughs> I didn't, because I figured out a little trick that if I used a Procyon black that had a blue base, that if I did it just right, <laughs> it would look black, but when I washed it out, I got blue. So that, that was a figuring. real thrill to kind of get the blue on the yellow. Very good. Yeah, you know, so. and mining is still one of the most um, still hazardous very, occupations it is. in this in country. In Pittsburgh, we no longer have any coal mines. We only have one um, steel mill left. But the thing I loved about these images is all these guys were from different countries. They were had different ethnicities, different... Most of them were immigrants or the children of immigrants, mm -hmm. but they had one thing really in common, and that was that they were willing to work really hard in a dangerous environment to lift their family out of the circumstances That's they were That's always been true of immigrants yeah. to this And it's country. really happened They're in the Pittsburgh. hardest working people right. I've ever right. met. They were strong guys and they were brave and they did the job. And it's really happened actually in Pittsburgh because we only have one mill left, but we're now the home of Google. So these guys actually did nice. succeed in sending their kids to college and got them out of the bunch. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks. I appreciate your time. Thank and you. congratulations again. Thank you.